so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to continue the java web project configuration series and if you want to take some project uh, uh, from code one we'll provide the complete configuration tutorial step by step tutorial so here is a series like uh, we'll share the link in description box also so you can follow that link how can you install the jdk at the very first step then how can you install eclipse and sts tool or netwins and then you can how can you import that maven project inside your id then how can you set up the complete database mysql in your system how can you install uh, this uh, mysql workbench and then the next video will be and uh, next video is about uh, how can you import that mysql database inside your Workbench. So uh, in this video, some uh, I got some comments like uh, how can we import the data? Uh, sorry, how can we uh, change the database name? For example, if I'm using some uh, user table, for example, if I'm gonna check the user table, so how can we operate this operation? So how can we, how can we edit update this data? So it will be easy. Let's mm, let's. Uh, mm, so this this complete video will be about how can you operate and how can you check. Uh, the complete database how can you perform different operation with your database inside this mysql workbench so at the very first when you are going to start this one so you need to double click here and you if it ask some like i already saved my password so that's why it's not asking for the password and if you are going to use it first time or second time and not saving the password so you have to enter your password so by default password is uh, as code one team configure the password will be root and it's depend on you what kind of password you are going to pass here so let's uh, take an example of this airline ticket system and for example with this it's already admin so okay so this is the admin role id and password so how can i edit the name here so this will be your database for example so if first you need to select the database you already selected it means all the perform all the operation you are going to perform here which will be affect only this database so if you want to see the database uh, let me check the some other database like where we, we can get the data more data like this okay bank will be good yeah. So you can see uh, this is our mysql command prompt so from here we can pass the command for example and if you want to see the complete table so you just need to select the database click on this arrow icon you can see the table if you want to see the data of the table just right click on this select the table right click on the table click on the select rows limit 1000 so the data will be appear here another way to get this same thing like you need to pass a command from here if you don't get this you just go here and click on this SQL plus icon you will get the fresh window so you need to pass select asterisk from the two uh, the uh, table name so table name is be user and just run this from this icon you will get the complete data for example if I want to get the data of role table so b and rule b underscore rule so we'll get the data of this table so make sure before executing these commands you need to uh, select the uh, complete database so to select just double click on it and now if you want to check this if you want to change the data so you can uh, double click on this it will edit automatically or you can uh, pass from here update command also so it's a really easy way to change like for example i'm going to change this name admin so i'm going to so i'm going to edit it this as a demo user demo user and when i click on the demo user this button is disabled right now i click on the outside of this box like this and now the button is enabled just click on apply and you can see the update command is automatically generated by the workbench and click on apply click on finish now again check the table and now you can see the data is updated for example if you want to change the data uh, username and password of that particular application so you can update the data from here like i'm going to just passing the random data here 
and passing the random username password from here demo and just click outside of this box click on apply it will generate automatically the table uh, the command and click on apply so uh, in this way you can change the database name uh, you can change the data of that particular table and the other operation if you want to clear the complete data of the play of the of the, of the table so just right click on this click on the truncate table and truncate so it's in process so let it let the process will be finished It's executing the truncate command it's still in process now it's done and you can check the data is completely gone so you need to enter the complete data now here and if you want to change some table name or something uh, I would note like to would note suggest you to change this table name because it's uh, affected your project also but for your knowledge I'm going to show you like if you want to change it some data or some column you just go inside uh, right click on the table name and click on the alter table and from here you can edit these things and click on the apply it will change the complete uh, table so this is the uh, series video and if you want to follow the complete configuration it will help you might be you will face this issues like how can we change the exit like sometime we are providing our own uh, username and password for the admin and all that things so if you want to change it you can change it then 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 this same username id password will uh, will work for your application i would suggest you to don't change any role id and the other details such just, just change the login name and password and first name or second name that will be good so thank you so much for watching keep continue uh, tuning with code one uh, will help you to in the different different projects like php projects java projects and we'll provide the configuration and if you face any issue there also uh, in this uh, if, 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 if you have any question and you are facing some kind of other problem other errors you can comment me out or you can mail me directly at the red, um, at jcode1 at the, at the red gmail .com. We will provide the complete solution for this if that problem problem will come in the bulk we will record a video and provide the particular solution thank you